because you won't have any fingertips because these gorgeous cards just burn them right off. Oh, heck, whoa, oh, oh. Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I am back with another box from Japan! It's a box from Japan. This is a box from Japan of the Dragon Ball Super Card Game Cross Spirits Unison Warrior Set 5. This is the latest booster box of the Dragon Ball Super Card Game. And yes, it is from Japan, from Bandai. They sent it to me and they said, Joku, could you shrip them? And I said, yes, yes, I can. I can shrip them and I will shrip them. And I will shrip them here with you now on the Joku Shoku. If this is your first time here and you want to see Dragon Ball Super Card Game content on a weekly basis, make sure to smush that subscription button because if you are a returning member of the Joe Crew, you would know that when you smush that subscription button, you did yourself a huge favor by being able to be reminded about when these wonderful shrippums and Dragon Ball Super Card Game content comes out to your YouTube live from Joku to you. But let's get into this. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give a very special thanks to Bandai. Bandai, thank you for sending me this box of this beautiful Dragon Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Beautiful Cross Spirits booster box of trading cards. What will we strip them inside? So of course, this is the box here. This is the Cross Spirits box. Goku with his Spirit Bomb, Jiren, Gohan, Piccolo, Gogeta, and Xeno Sin Shenron. But there are some gorgeous cards in this set. I would even go as far as to say this might be the best looking set of the game ever printed before I've even seen anything shiny. And we're about to open all this stuff up and it's all gonna be so shiny. Shiny for my eyes. Eyes so shiny in my eyes balls, but we'll see. I'm, I'm imagining that it's gonna be the same. There'll be two SPRs per box, and then it seems like we're gonna have a box topper as well. So let's get in here and see what we. Oh, yo, Sun Gohan Ultimate Essence. This card was recently announced this is this card is really good if you're playing gohan every time you combo you get to draw a card he's kind of like piano and it looks like with this deck we may even be able to do plus three draws per turn and then defensive plus two which is crazy when you have the unison on board anyway let's get into this box of beautiful cardos here it is cross spirits and what is on the top it is oh jiren oh what all right let's get these cards out of here oh man of course we got a bless in the pack. So let's pull a pack out of here. Oh, Spirit Bomb Goku, be blessed. I hope your blessed be true. And I hope the secret rare Goku and Frieza is inside of you. Now let's put this bless in the pack back there. And uh, let's get into these shrip -ums. Ooh, wow, Dragon Ball Super Card Game shrip -ums. All right, first up we have Jiren from the Jiren archetype. Now these pack, the pack art looks gorgeous. They really stepped the art up here. I am, uh, I'm just amazed at what they've done. And our first cross spirit, what is gonna be inside this pack? All right, we have Toa, Resonance of Shadow. We got the blue, green, Gohan and Krillin. Kabito Kai, the evolved target for the secret rare, if you were ever gonna do that. Exchange of power. Great Saiyaman 2, our yellow skillless here. Negative energy explosion. Minosha, hero sibling. Sun Goku, Majin exterminator with the foot up in the air, the high kicks. You gotta train for those high kicks. We got a yellow skillless Vegeta here. A one drop skillless mono black Vegeta with the specified mono black color there. Ooh, Jiren, rare, very good looking, and a non-foil rare SS3 Gotenks Calamity Challenger. Wow, these parallel foils are looking great. I love the reverse hollow foil they do on these. It just looks so good. And this Jiren chain looks pretty devastating. I think if the if the deck is able to work the right way, I think that sequence is gonna be pretty nice. All right, our next Cross Spirits Jiren pack to strip them. And what do we got here? It is Tupper, Warrior of Universe 11. Looks like his Tupper wear broke off of his face there and you can see his mustache is exposed. Bobbity Unison, the Cybermen. Tapion, Hero of Calamity. The Tapion stuff looks really cool. I would love to pull one of those Tapion SPRs, the Gogeta SPR, really any SPR. This whole set just looks so great. And our first red skillless, Universe 7 skillless. So hyped to see it. So excited for that archetype. The Gohan leader, it all looks so good. Oh, the blue yellow hit, flawless attacker. And we got a non-foil rare here as well. But this parallel foil looks 
awesome oh man i'm so excited for blue yellow to come back and i think this card is really really good i think you're going to be able to do some devastating stuff with this card all right our next shrimp I'm here is gogeta ss4 gogeta wow what a beautiful art and the spr of this card just looks so dang good it is so gorgeous looking super 17 hellish amal amalgamation i think they really nailed it with yellow all the uh the hell cards the Hellku archetype and the super 17 looks so cool but this art just looks so good oh here we got him the super 17 leader emissary of hell very cool and this master roshi u7 challenger is really cool how you can just uh when you play this you grab a two drop skillless from your drop area which is fantastic one drop goku the specified black cost you know goku and trunks the brawler Ooh, our first spr opening the gates of heck Wow, counterplay, spirit boost one. Choose all battle cards and unison cards being played with three or fewer markers and switch them to rest mode, then draw a card. The reads a little bit like Crusher Ball, but it seems like you can target multiple things at once. It is an SPR, which is a gorgeous looking SPR. And it's a one cost yellow, really, really awesome. But it looks like you're gonna need to have an active unison in order to get this skill off. So it is dependent on a unison being on board. Nonetheless, an absolutely gorgeous cardo. All right, so that's our first uh, SPR there, and the Super 17 art here, holding it down, holding down the fort, both hands, palms down. Very serious. And what is in our Shrippum adventure here? We got the Jiren leader. This Jiren leader looks awesome. Oh man, walking down the catwalk again. Walking down the catwalk to make friends. Here in Blind Destruction. I'm definitely going to be building Jiren and giving it a try. I think it's really interesting that you can evolve on your opponent's turn. Now, this skill is just gorgeous. I wish it were sand so I could use it in my deck, but maybe I might just play one just for fun anyway. In my blue Soul Striker deck that I love to play. Ooh, Natron Shenron, our parallel foil. First black parallel foil and the non foil rare of the hit we just pulled. Great looking in non foil as well. I think this is our first Spirit B Bomb Goku pack. Very exciting to shrimp on. And here we go. Ooh, the Babby Jiren. Jiren the Avenger. One drop Jiren. Uh, draws a card, cantrip, and it looks like it, uh, cute little Jiren. This Android looks really good. Barrier Blocker. I mean, blockers are just so important now, now that Unisons are uh, so present. People are always going to want to attack Unisons. Having an option to block on your Unison is really, really valuable to be able to get that combo step, be able to draw cards. Ooh, the Parallel Foil Super 17 Leader. What a gorgeous looking leader. The art on these cards is so good. And you got the full art on the back. So cool. I love this background they did. He's just coming in, not messing around at all. Super 17, getting the love that he needs in yellow. Very exciting. I'm also very excited for the SS4 Goku leader. I think that leader is going to be super fun to play. So I wonder if... I have, We haven't seen any SRs so far. So I wonder if we're going to be seeing any other... How many SRs per box. I'm assuming they're doing the same number of srs and sprs as they have been for the rest of this set you know including the box topper hoy our bringer of calamity unison and coquette warrior of universe 7 the spirit boost super combo so it looks like looks like the super combos they're putting in this one are spirit boost based to to help that spirit boost mechanic it's uh pretty interesting it's cool how they've different they've supported the different mechanics throughout the different sets that have come out in this block. I think it's very creative and cool. Ooh, a 30K SS4 Vegeta prepping for fusion. Looks like a good target for Xeno Gogeta, which there is an SR and SPR Xeno Gogeta in this set that looks absolutely astonishing. Here he is, the Sun Gohan Power of Duty leader. What an awesome leader. I think this guy's gonna be able to draw a lot if he's built correctly. It looks like a really, really fun archetype to play. I know I will definitely be building it myself. And a parallel foil Majin Buu, Mighty Absorption. Still no SRs yet, but such gorgeous looking parallel foils. You can't argue with that at all. We got Jiren here. Jiren! Another Hoi Unison. The art in this set just looks really, really great. I think they did a really fantastic job with everything. It all looks really well. It all looks like it's been composed really well on the art of the card. Just looks really fantastic. I think this set is going to be a wonderful collector set. SS3 Gotenks Calamity Challenger. I mean, look at that. It just looks so dang good on your eyeballs. When you look at it with your eyes and realize 
how insanely good that looks as an invalid argument to say that that doesn't look amazing. And we got our next Spirit Bomb Goku. I would love to pull one of those SRs. I was hoping he would get an SPR, but I guess that would just make it too insane if there was an SPR Spirit Bomb Goku. Helku, here we go. SS4 Sun Goku returning from heck. This leader looks really fun to play. I'm excited to see the parallel foil of this pull one eventually. It's going to look so good. Really interesting. Kind of reads a little bit like Vegex, a lot of people are saying. Um, I haven't tested it online myself. I usually don't test online. I like to test with the physical cards. But it looks like a really fun archetype to play, and I'm definitely looking forward to fighting it. Here we go, our super combo, green super combo. The stretching kicks. Son Goku with a halo on. Ooh, our first SR. All right. Android 20 and Dr. Mew, hellish accomplices. Plus one draw on the two drop. Yellow unison, I believe this is yellow. It looks almost green, but I'm pretty sure this is yellow for this Super 17 list. Very nice looking SR. That's our first SR from the box. So maybe we'll be pulling yellow. Maybe that's how this works. I don't know if the things are on theme. If we are, I would be so excited to pull that little Goku. The well, I guess he's not so little, but once he starts doing his thing, it's a very impressive skill that he has. That Goku can't be affected by card skills. Ooh, the Roblu Meticulous Investigator. I don't know how useful this card will be now. Sogun Gohan, Calamity Challenger, Super Combo, and Hercule, Majin Exterminator. Here is our Spirit Boost Super Combo for green. And the Android 13, Cybernetic Onslaught, green, yellow support. I feel like we're gonna have a pretty high rate of uh, SRs in these last couple packs here, but I don't know what we're gonna be pulling. This card looks pretty interesting. All the blue stuff looks really cool. I'm really, really excited for, I think the, the Tapion Unison is just fantastic because it's a 19K and blue you wanna play defensively though. So to have that extra 4K that they're gonna have to push through. Ooh, Trunks Calamity Challenger. So this is a blue SR we got here. Wow, that is a great looking card. Look at that, look at that gold stamp. Jeez, holy hexagon, that looks so dang good. Whoa, Sha, Yosha, really cool art. The bottom of the foot kicks, you know, you're just about to get kicked in the face and then this awesome card gets played. Really, really useful. Yeah, the blue stuff looks really fun. I'm, I am thrilled to play blue this set. I love playing blue. Blue and yellow are my favorite colors to play, but my challenge to myself is to learn how to play yellow. So I am going to challenge myself with that. Ultimate Dragon Tackle. Wow, such cool stuff. Commemorative photo. Best card in the game. This card is amazing. Basically, you can play this card and your opponent has the option to add all of their life to their hand. Ultimate Hercule move. Best looking card in the game. I'm definitely going to be running a playset in every deck of this that I play. Even if I'm not running green, I can charge one and then play one when I want to. SS Vegeta, Majin Exterminator. This is cool because this card answers hand destruction. I'm not a huge fan of hand destruction, so I like that there are counters to it now. Pretty cool stuff. Another Gohan leader. And ooh, the SS4 Parallel Foil Sun Goku with the Ape Fur and a non-foil rare. Wow, what a great looking card. Pretty nice. We got another Gogeta here. And we should have one more SPR in this box somewhere. Oh, the Majin Buu leader. Here we go. Yeah, I haven't seen this guy. This this guy, it looks great on paper. I don't know how he's going to play, but reading him on paper, he looks really, really good. So I'm really excited about the potential of that being a really fun green archetype to play. But I think I'm definitely going to be drawn to Ren as it is U7. Here's our Parallel Foil Skillless. I love Parallel Foil Skillless. They're just so much shinier. There's so much more shine on the card. Almost through this box and still only one SR pull, another Majin Buu leader. Yeah, the, the, the leader looks really good on paper, but I feel like there's some things that are somewhat situational that you need in order for the deck to really go off. But maybe there's ways to build that in as you play through it. I have not tested it myself, as I've said. And a parallel foil super combo. Great looking card. And the Spirit Boost super combo. I mean, obviously the secret rare is in that pack, so we'll obviously get to the secret rare last and a blessing but as we continue to strip them i feel like we should be seeing a few more srs soon Ooh, god this tapion looks so cool i can't wait to find one of those in parallel foil i just love skillless parallel foils it's just so much more dang shininess all over the place the Delt leader looks cool there's our robolo and a parallel foil super combo tian shinhan this is just a red 10k super combo great looking so good looking oh yo 
the SR Sun Goku Divine Presence. Oh man, this card looks so good. Whoa, yo. Oh man, we might have to take a closer look at that one there later. Wow, look at all that cool shininess that does. And this gets played when you have two battle cards in your in your combo area. You can play this for two when you have three or more energy, which is pretty easy to do in Skillless Gohan. So this card is gonna be pretty, pretty good. And it comes out and gets stronger potentially or makes something else stronger. So really, really cool cool looking card gorgeous art yeah this box is kind of all over the place it hasn't just been blue or yellow or red we've seen uh three different color srs so that's cool so i wonder what else the spread is going to be in here this is the prepping for fusion xeno goku we saw the we saw the vegeta earlier but uh Let's see what we can get to here. Anything shiny at the back of the pack it is, yeah, the Android 17 blocker, barrier blocker. I think this card is going to be very, very useful. I, uh, I like it a lot. I like the support and our red, blue, king, cold. I like the support red skillless is getting in U7. I think it's very cool. Here's our Spirit Bomb Goku. Let's rip him. What do we got inside of here? Another cute little Jiren. And Android 17, Hellfighter, Defender of Justice, the great Saiyaman. He got an SPR. This is a great looking card. And it's really cool because it just takes out a bunch of tokens. Uh, you just switch all the tokens to rest mode. You can see Piccolo with the Karate Chop. The Watchman Strike, Karate Chop, right onto the crest of the head. What an amazing Karate Chop. Vuan, Warrior of Universe 7 with the Punch. The Black Shenron stuff looks pretty, pretty strong also. Really interesting that they gave the leader blocker to protect Unisons, I'm guessing. Oh, the Jiren, the Warida, that's crazy. We just pulled Goku and then Jiren in the next one. Oh man, look at that. Woo, that is some shiny, shiny. Wow, that card is on fire. It feels like my hand is on fire. I am holding one of the hottest cards I've ever looked at. This is Jiren, the Zenith of Power. What, what an insane box. Wow, what an absolutely gorgeous card. So this is the end of the Jiren chain and it is strong. You get to neg something 35K ignoring barrier. That is pretty, pretty dang strong. Talk about a blessing the box over here. All right, we got another Android 17 Hellfighter Cross Spirits pack to strip them. And what do we got? It just started pouring thunder and rain outside. Maybe it's a sign that the secret rare is coming. Maybe it's a sign that the secret rare is on its way. The secret rare is must be at the back of this pack. There's no way, well, I think it's at the Blessum, but there's no way that it's not gonna be something amazing at the back of this pack of drag. Ooh, the Tapion parallel foil. And oh, yo, Sun Gohan SPR. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that is a good looking card. Sun Gohan getting the SPR for red. This card is really good. I mean, anybody that's gonna be playing the Warriors of Universe 7 is gonna want four of these in their deck for sure. What an amazing card. You know, I really thought they were gonna give it to Goku or Jiren. Jiren hasn't had an SPR yet, but Gohan definitely the res deserves the respect. And it's cool to see him getting it in the form of this absolutely gorgeous SPR. Wow. Look Look at that look at that gold foil gosh what a good looking car it's so beautiful we pulled both of our sprs so we should have maybe i don't know maybe one or two more srs in this box and then always of course the chance of the secret rare which has got to be in the bless in the pack but what an amazing looking set what an honor it is to be opening up this set it is so so cool looking and i certainly will open plenty more here's our krillin universe 7 challenger and a non-foil rare majin boot unadulterated malice another jiren pack here great looking art on the pack of course vegeta prepping for fusion Ooh, here this is the uh skillless unison so this is a unison for the gohan list Unison looks really good, and we're definitely going to have to protect the heck out of it because it really helps the list go off. So I think having a blocker that's available to help with that is going to be essential. The gate opener, Piccolo, and our parallel foil, Krillin the Brawler. This is the yellow Spirit Boost Super Combo support. Very nice. And a non-foil Sun Gohan Majin Exterminator. All right, we got our SS4 Gogeta pack here. I'm going to strip them. Oh, what do we got here? Majin Buu and Gohan and Mew, Minosha, 
Hellfighter 7, another commemorative photo. We're almost at our playset. I think we have three now, which is getting us very close to our playset. I want to see this in parallel foil. I am psyched for that. All the skill list. There's so much gorgeous skill as art. Wow, Diabolical Blow, parallel foil. That's a good looking card. Very, very cool. Oh, we got the Spirit Bomb Goku SR. What the heck? We got like all the amazing SRs in this box. That is so rad. We got the Spirit Bomb Goku SR. We got the Jiren SR and the UI Goku SR. What the heck? And the Gohan SPR. Jeez, thank you, Bandai. Thank you for this amazing opportunity to strip them. What a good looking card. And I'll strip him here. That's Goku fighting Majin Buu when he gets that last Spirit Bomb. And of course, Hercule is really the one that saves the planet because Hercule is the one that gets everybody to lend their energy. So... The real MVP is Hercule. You know, don't underestimate him. Definitely don't underestimate that Hercule negate that came out last set. Heart of a Maiden, beautiful parallel foil. And Krill and the Brawler. That Hercule to the rescue negate, do not underestimate that card. All right, we got our Cross Spirits. Rip them here. What is it going to be? It is the Sun Goku art on here. Ooh, Broly the Berserker. This, this card looks really cool. It's cool that they're giving the Broly chain a new option. I wonder if a green-yellow Broly is going to be something that's doable. I really like that idea. You know, the old Broly leader, he's my guy. Maybe we'll get a parallel foil Skillis here. Ooh, the Beerus Unceasing Rage. Very nice looking. And Jiren, rare, devastating might. What a good looking card. And here it is, our Bless in the Pack, our final pack. If the SER is in this box, it would be in this pack because this is the last pack of all the packs. But if it isn't, we got an amazing box. There's so much good looking stuff in this box. It's so cool to open it. So here it is. Bless him. Oh, bless him. Oh, Spirit Bomb Goku. Please be bless him. Your shrip him be true. This six plus game of my favorite is shrip him. Be shrip. There it is. Our shrip in the pack. And we have our Jiren. Thirst for power. Android 17. Trunks. Great Sandman 2. Red Universe 11 support. The Shenron. Skillless. Skillless. Ooh, yeah. The Parallel Foil Skillless. What a great looking card. Oh, man. This looks so good. So dang good. And the non foil rare. Well, in the Bless on the Pack to get the Parallel Foil Skillless that we wanted to see the whole game is pretty rad as this can be used in soul striker very very cool all right we're gonna have to take a closer look at some of these beautiful cards that we pulled because there are some really good looking cards here gotta get our loops on here first and foremost let's let a look at this gohan oh wow oh whoa yo whoa oh come on look at that shiny ah oh, god you look at it too long it's gonna make your eyeballs you really make your eyeballs go all weird wow oh that is so good looking god the composition is fantastic look at the balance of this the negative space plus where the weight of the intensity of the focus of the card is they just nailed it they nailed it so dang well oh such a good looking spr what a what a what a what an amazing opportunity it is to pull this. And here we got our SR Goku. Wow. Whoa. Yo. Ho, ho, ho. Sha. UI Goku with the SR in this set looks so dang, so dang good. Wow. Wow. We. And a good card, too. It's great when a card looks great and it is good. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. Whoa. Yo. Yeah, so shiny. Come on. Oh, God. My eye. Ah, my eyes ball. Oh, what the? Who? Ha. Oh, wow. Whoa. Look at. Would you look at that? Would you just look at how? dang shiny you gotta be hold, careful holding these because they're so shiny and so hot they could burn you right at the fingertips you won't be identifiable anymore because you won't have any fingertips because they burn right off because these gorgeous cards just burn them right off oh heck whoa oh oh that's a good looking card and of course our parallel foil god just for a parallel foil it looks so dang nice oh huh. what an amazing opportunity this has been well guys that's been the shrimpum thanks for coming by thank you bandai for sending me this box it is so such an amazing opportunity to be able to share this with the community and get to shrimp them myself. I mean, what an amazing, unique experience. I love to shrimp them. And to get to shrimp them the set before it even comes out, how dang cool is that? Holy hexagon. Jump on the hex holy hexagon with the Joe crew over here. And let's shrimp them. Let's shrimp them the day away. I want to say thanks to you guys for coming by. 
uh, if you like this shrimp and you want to see shrimps every week and this is your first time here, make sure to smush that subscription button. And if you are a returning member of the Joe Crew, thank you as always for coming by and watching this shrimp adventure. We'll be doing plenty more of these shrimps as the days come on live stream. We're going to be shrimping cases, shrimping boxes, having a blast, shrimping all week, all, 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 all the time, all the heckin' time. And guys, I am a dentist. I can't end the episode without giving a dental tooth. Tip. my dental tooth tip to you would be make sure to change the head on your powered brush if you have a powered brush you need to change that head every three months every three months you got to change that head out what's nice about the new sonicare is specifically the protective cleans gives you a signal when the head needs to be changed so beep 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 beep, beep and get your brush feeling nice as new i am joku dmd that's been my dental tooth tip and i will see you guys next time I think it's December Christmas tree, but it's really oh, happy holidays, hot cash. Hot cash.